Hopefully, hopefully everything's in the clear now. We're still on Byronia Island, and we're still trying to find out where the heck anything is. There's a treasure chest way up there. We can't get to it for the moment. There is an event right here. Huh? What is this? It's the sea! Take a look at the sea, everyone. Ah, not a bad view. <laughs> it's a nice place to stop and rest. I never knew such a nice, quiet place existed on this small island. Seems like a private beach made by Mother Nature herself. Oh, I'd love to go for a swim, but I didn't bring a swimsuit. <laughs> we are looking for Milliam now, though. Instructor, look over there. Footprints! Could they be... Yes, based on the size, they're likely Milliam's. She must have passed through here. Let's get after her. Ah! Al, what's wrong? This isn't seasickness. Al, Altina, what's going on? No, it's nothing really. I've just been hearing this noise in my head sometimes. This feeling, it's, it's like when I connect with Clown Soleil. With Clown Soleil. Could this be connected to Milliam somehow? It seems likely. It feels like some kind of barrier is at work here. A barrier? I don't get what's going on. There might be something going on here in this island. Yeah, we should be careful. Altina, how about we take a break? Physically, I'm fine. We should go. Oh dear. She's not doing too hot. But hey guys. There's another fishing spot here. Let's see what we got. I think I've caught this one before. But with the, uh, best possible fishing rod, this was a cakewalk. Yeah, I caught this guy before. Got us, uh, it looks like an Action 2 quartz. Although, I'm not really good at kanji. I could be wrong, it could be a cast 2 as well. Anyway, there is a, uh, photo spot here. <laughs> Looking from here, it's really a spectacular place. Yeah, it almost makes you forget about time. It looks like it'd be nice to swim here, too. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'm sure the water feels great here. <laughs> I won't look. Go ahead and swim in your underwear if you want. I will not! <laughs> it really is a nice view from here. I'm pretty sure Vivi would appreciate it. Perfect. I'll send it to her later. And by later, we mean right now. Because apparently we can get, get connection all the way out here. I guess it must be the uh, repeater at work. <laughs> Alrighty then. Let's keep on going. Oh my gosh, look at all of those enemies. Oh my gosh, this place is confusing. Look at all of these monsters.
What? Um... I guess that works? <laughs> I certainly wasn't expecting that. Anyway, this is the path to the chest over here. Oh, we got a Master Quartz out of it. This appears to be, uh... Gores? Goose? I'm not sure. But, uh... As for what it does... Ah, it's the, uh... It's very similar to the Taurus Quartz from before. It even has the, uh, bold head there. Basically, uh... Damage is increased by 100%, but delay is increased by 1.5%, as well as a few other various things. It's a nice course to have on someone you're just using for one big attack, but uh, in a protracted battle it can be a uh, detriment. So you just need to be careful about those things. Anyway, that detour aside... We want to... Actually, we want to head north. We'll head down that path later. Oops, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Puppy sure have a lot of health. Not that it mattered. Not that it mattered in the slightest. So we'll take the north path this way. Avoid these excessive fights. event here. This is... What the hell? And there we go. Now that is certainly impressive. The huge figure on Byronia Island. I've heard about it for a long time. I mean, I heard it was big, but this is ridiculous! I heard about this from the B team. And although the, the design is different, it seems to be similar to the one we saw in Nord. Indeed, it appears to be about 80 arch in height. So, of course, Millium would have looked into this as well. Wow, there's indents over there, ordered like a ladder. Should we head up to check, just in case? There is a rope and hook in the survival kit. Altina, can you follow us on Clomp's Lay, just in case? Roger. Muse, Yuna, it might be tough, so just let me know if you need any help. Thanks, but I think we'll be fine. Thank you for the offer, though. As expected from our young master. Always looking out for the ladies. You say that, but you'd help out too if it came down to it. Anyway, let's go, Schwarzer. Aw, he's blushing. Yes, he certainly is. Ah, jeez, enough already. When did they all get so close all of a sudden? <laughs> you know, you're included in that too, you know. 
So. Let's go climb this ladder. Well then, I'll ride Clown Slate to the top. Right. We're counting on you, Al. Okie dokie. Good work. We're getting close now. Anyway, let's check the treasure chest here. Ah, it's a star-colored robe. Not sure exactly what that means, but... Uh, okay. Strength art, speed plus five. These are some nice things. Let's put that on Reen. Give this to Kurt. He could use some more speed. And, uh, oh, I forgot all about this one. I'll give that to, uh, Muse for the time being. And when did I get these? Give these to Kurt since they have an evasion buff on them. I better give Reen some new shoes too. <laughs> I really should have done this earlier. Okay, I think everyone's set. We can sell the excess later. And let's get to the top. even more ridiculous from this close up. The carving is so elaborate. Doesn't the material the giant made of seem different from the surrounding rock? Huh. Hmm. Instructor? No, I was just thinking. I could feel a spiritual power last time. But now, I don't feel anything here. It seems empty somehow. Empty. <laughs> you going on about some occult bullshit? No, spiritual power really does exist. <laughs> Just think about Celine. She's a talking cat after all. Yeah, if Emma and Celine were here, we'd probably learn a lot more about the details. Ah, again. Oh my. Oh dear. Huh? What the hell? This is similar to the thing that happened in the forest in chapter one. Another resonance. It's nice to see you again, Reen Schwarzer. You're the one I saw in the Sutherland province. Who are you? How do you know me? N what's going on? You simply resonated with the memories of this place. Seems you have a certain affinity for this kind of memory. Like the time you saw the memories of Dreykel's Lionheart in the fortress during the Civil War. How do you know about that? I know all. 
Well, actually, that's not quite true. Unfortunately, it was not clairvoyance. I simply heard about it from others. But I should warn you. I could have been watching if I felt like it. It's not like Vita is the only one who can use clairvoyance or exile spirits. Huh? Oh, well, I said too much. Well, commit this vision to your memory. It will be very useful to you soon. Huh? Oh, this must be the, uh, leader of the Hexen clan. Emma's grandmother. Well, see you later. I'll give you a little reward for making it this far. Uh, wait a second. Until next time. The scent. So yeah, that must be the leader of the Hexen clan. Definitely doesn't look like a grandmother, though. She seems to be, uh, you know, younger than Reen. <sighs> Instructor, are you okay? W what happened? No. This time, I remember it vividly. Is this what, like what happened last time? Oh. Oh yeah, in the forest in Sutherland. Huh, what's this now? Something to do with your whacked out power? No, not at all. But I might have gotten a little hint. Huh? Anyway, doesn't look like there are any clues at this big statue. But I'm certain Milliam did investigate around here. Oh! Footprints? They look like they're from Boots. Yeah, let's look around here just in case. Oh, there is a uh, mysterious symbol here. This is... Huh? What is this? Hmm, and those boot marks continue this way as well. So Millie must have been investigating this area as well. Yeah, for sure. How about we try using the thing Emma gave us? You can access items through the L2 action menu. So, since we can't use our horses or anything... Let's, uh... See what the stone does here. Oh! It lit up! Why? There must be some spiritual power embedded in this. This is infused with power from a witch's retainer, Emma. It seems like the two sources of power interfere with each other, causing the reaction. Hey man, when I said this was occult bullshit earlier, I wasn't kidding. There definitely seems to be some secrets hiding on this island now. Right, and after noticing that, contact from Millian was cut off. So if we find more of these, we might be able to activate something. It seems like we're going to find something here after all. Right, while we look for more clues, let's be on the lookout for more of these emblems. Roger that. Huh, well that aside, I've been wondering for a while. Were you bitten on the neck by an insect or something, Instructor? Huh? <laughs> wow, that's pretty shameful. I bet you were playing around with some pretty ladies last night, weren't you? Pretty ladies? You must mean Claire and Sarah! Instructor? Hmm, there's an awfully suspicious scent on you, too. How many- And we're 
back. Man, I'm not having fun with this. We are still looking for Milliam. I'm really liking this island. I'm really hating losing my connection every 10 seconds. Alrighty then. Let's to take the left fork first, but, uh... Why exactly? There's a green star up the hill. I guess it wants me to take that one first. Okay, sure. That's fine. As long as I remember to go down that other path later. village here. Oh, this must be... must be the former site of the settlement on the island. Seems like it's been decades. No, at least a century. Yeah, I heard the island was abandoned at the end of the Middle Ages. Right, there appears to be a place you can climb up back there as well. Right, we should go check it out. Anyway, there's another one of those crests up here, so we need to go pay that a visit. That's another one, like before. Right, it's just like the one near the giant. In this case, Oh, it lit up too. What kind of mechanism is this? But nothing's changed, it seems. We may have to activate all of them on the island for it to start. Something might happen at the end of all this. In any case, let's continue going around the island. Alright, so there should be two more to find. The order doesn't matter, just that I get to them eventually. And there's still a lot of uh, treasure chests and things in this island to explore, so... I'll have to keep my eye out. case, let's uh, loop back around for now. Instead of taking the fork here. Hey, Grandia. How's it going? I'm hoping that uh, nothing goes wrong this time, but I have been having quite a few connection issues today. Over here is a copy of the Black Records. It's an interesting thing to find. And on the other fork, there is the third crest. Looks like we found our third crest. Instructor, if you would. Right. Huh, nothing happened yet. Right, there must be more then. 
Let's continue the search. Oh, nice. Yeah, I haven't uploaded quite everything to YouTube yet. I'm a little bit behind on that, and my apologies. I've been busy with work, Christmas season, all that stuff. But, uh, I'm trying to do what I can. Anyway, we don't have any reason to go back that way. Not what I wanted to do. Did I get myself discombobulated? Yeah, that's uh, a little bit behind. Probably about two hours, plus the uh, two or so hours I've played today. And, uh... Nice. So yeah, you're probably ahead of me since I've only been playing on days I've had off. And of course, I'm getting really confused by this area here. <laughs> Trying to avoid unnecessary fights. I think I've pretty much gotten... gotten to where the curve wants me to be. 